Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to introduce you guys to the GreenShot screen capture application. So you can pick up the GreenShot application at getgreenshot.org. It's free for Windows and I believe $2 for Mac. And what the application allows you to do is to take screenshots of regions on your computer screen, full Windows, or your entire desktop, to save those to your file, edit them, and optionally to upload them to the internet on ImageGur. So by default, when you install GreenShot, it's gonna start with Windows automatically so that you can always access and use it. So if you right click on your taskbar and you open up the task manager, you can confirm that by going to the startup tab. So on startup, you can see all of the applications that are starting with your computer. So if we scroll down here towards the bottom, we can see GreenShot is enabled here. And once again, it's a good idea to have it enabled so that anytime you need to take a screenshot, you can. So how you can actually use the hotkey for green shot is to use the print screen hotkey. So if you have print screen on your keyboard, uh, on mine, that's in the top right hand side of it. You get the ability to drag a rectangular box by left clicking at one corner and then holding it down and dragging it outwards until you have the full size of what you want to capture in the screen. Note also the giant magnifying glass, which takes a closer look at the individual pixels when you really zoomed in on the screens. So it makes it a little easier to get a pixel perfect screen capture. And when you have the size you want, you can just let go. And then it's gonna give you this drop down menu. So the first option here, save as displaying dialogue, gives you the option to set a specific location on your computer for this file. The second option, save directly using preferred file output settings, will use the default storage location that you have set up in GreenShot. I'll show you how to do that later. So let's try using the save as displaying dialog. And we can see here that it's using the Windows File Explorer to currently save to the desktop. So we'll just go with that. I'm gonna hit save. And you can see a notification in the bottom right that GreenShot has exported the image. Now we can double click on it and open up our screen capture. So another handy function if you need to share your screen captures with other people is to upload it to the internet using ImageGur uh, as an anonymous upload by default. So how you can upload the file to the internet straight from within GreenShot is when you do your print screen and you drag your little box here, instead of doing save as displaying dialog, you go down to upload to ImageGur. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and you'll see that the ImageGur plugin um, basically goes ahead and feeds the image straight to a anonymous upload on the website. So we can click on this notification and it's gonna open it in the web browser. So all we would need to do now to share this image is simply to copy this hyperlink into whatever medium we're trying to share it on. So let's say this time when we take a screen capture that we're gonna save it to a location we're gonna forget about. So I'm gonna save as, and I'm gonna go somewhere else on the computer, like this random D drive slash dev slash bin uh, directory that I have on my computer. So somewhere I probably wouldn't look for images, right? So I go ahead and save it here. And then let's say I already close out of this notification. And then I'm like, oh, where did I save that image to? So let me show you how you can find where you saved your last images. If you go down to GreenShot in the bottom right notification area and you right click on it, there's an option here called open last capture location. So if I click on that, it's going to open wherever I just saved the previous image. So you can see here, D drive dev bin. And here we have that screen capture. So I'll go ahead and delete that now. Okay, next in GreenShot, of course you can do a simple region capture, but there's also a few other options you have for taking screen captures. And we can see these three other options listed. If I go to the GreenShot notification area and I right click on it, you can see last region, window, capture full screen. And I guess there's also Internet Explorer still as a fifth option if you're still using that. So we can see the other hotkeys here. They're all based on print screen. So if you want last region, it's shift plus print screen. Capture window is alt plus print screen and capture full screen is control plus print screen. So of course we have the basic region capture, normal print screen, and then saving that to the desktop for instance. So that gives us this image. And last region, what that is going to do is just to capture the exact same area of the screen that we just captured. So basically repeat the same capture without having to redraw the region. So shift print screen for that. And then we can do save as, and I'll call this capture two. So if we take a look at these two images, you can see it does capture the same region. So that's handy if you need to repeat the same screenshot. So capture window is handy in the sense that you'll get a pixel perfect capture of a single window. So uh, the stickies app over here, I believe we can do it with that. So I'm gonna do alt print screen. 
and I'm gonna save this as, and I'll just call this Sticky's screenshot, save it on the desktop, and I can double click, open it, and you can see that it perfectly captures the boundaries of this sticky note. And then the last one, of course, a full screen capture, control print screen, save on desktop, and I'll call this full screen. So we can double click that, and we can see that it is a capture of the entire desktop. So Greenshot also has a built-in image editor. So when we take a screenshot, and I'll just do another region capture here, we get the drop down, and you can see there's an option here, open in image editor. So if we click on that, before we save it to a file, we get these tools on the left in order to edit this image. It's not a very full featured image editor, but if you simply need to draw notes over an image, then it's still pretty handy. So for instance, you have tools like draw a line here. You can mark areas on your screen. Once you have the line, you can also left click on the corners and readjust them as needed. Arrows, if you're, arrows if you're pointing at something specific. The ability to add in a text box. So I could call this tutorial test and let's stretch that text box out. Maybe select all the text, increase the size, and maybe we would want to change the font as well. So any font you have installed on the computer. If you accidentally create extra elements you don't want, you can uh, right click on them and do cut or delete. There's a text highlighter, so you can hit H on the keyboard. And if you're capturing a text region, you could just drag a box over that and highlight it yellow. And if you need to blur anything out, there's an obfuscate tool. So O on the keyboard and you just drag a box over anything you need blurred out. So as you can see, there's a few useful tools. It's mostly for note taking. So you combine your screenshot, add some notes to it to make it make a little bit more sense. And then when you're done with the screenshot image editor, you can save it with the file menu or upload to ImageGur once again. So we can save it on the desktop and I might just call this edited screenshot as a PNG. So now we can see here our screenshot has the notes I just drew on it. Okay, so now let's talk about a couple of settings you may want to change. Set storage location. So as I mentioned, when you take a screenshot by using the region capture, you have the option of saving it directly using preferred file output settings. So if you want a dedicated folder for all of your screenshots, then you may want to set up that folder location. So if we go to the bottom right hand corner and right click on Greenshot, we can go into the preferences and then output to set a file location for this storage location. So you click on the three dots over here and you can browse for the folder you want to save your photos in. So for instance, we could select the pictures folder from our user profile and hit OK. And now that's gonna update here. You can also change the image format that defaults here. So instead of PNG, if you wanna save on space by removing the alpha channel or transparency from your image, in most cases, a screenshot's not gonna have any transparency anyway, uh, then you can go from PNG here and change it to JPEG. And then the file size that gets outputted should be lower because it doesn't need to worry about that alpha channel. So you can go ahead and hit OK now. And now the next time you do save using preferred file output settings, then it's going to save in that new directory with the new file type that you set. So lastly, when we do take a screenshot with Greenshot, we do have the option to send it to a printer to have it printed, of course. Uh, one option you might want to consider, though, is to force black and white printing. So if you want to save on color ink and just make sure that everything you print out from Greenshot is black and white, what you can do is go back to the settings of Greenshot. So I'm going to close that right there and I'm going to right click on the notification icon, preferences, and then we go to printer. And you can see here color settings. By default, it's full color print but you can change that to force grayscale printing or force black and white printing. By default, Greenshot should show a print options dialog whenever you do decide to print an image, which allows you to customize the settings before you actually send it to the printer for the final print. So that is pretty much about it for the Greenshot application. It's just a really good screen capture tool that you can install on Windows for free and the Mac App Store for $2. I use it all the time. It's simplicity at its best. So if you were looking for a good screenshot application, I recommend going ahead and giving it a shot. Aside from that, I've been Chris, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.